Page fans, people into webs, it is I, Sam of SG1, back for a Star Trek, the official Star Trek collection review. Yeah, this time we're doing the special issue, um, the Jeffrey's, uh, Matt Jeffrey's concept shuttle, uh, class F shuttle, uh, class F shuttlecraft. Um, yeah. Now, before I actually get into this, because you do get the glossy magazine and the ship itself, more on that in a little bit, a little bit of housekeeping. Um, Eagle Moss has still yet to send me um, 14 issues and two specials. The issues in question I am missing, I've written them down on this piece of paper, I'm missing 154, 156, 157, 159, 160, 161, 162, 163, 164, 165, 166, 167, 168, 169, and the um, um, Scimitar and the Lasseria specials. Um, so, as you can imagine, not best pleased. I have uh, repeatedly called Eagle Moss, and they keep telling me something different. Um, but I actually found the root of the problem. Apparently, a lot of the 50s, um, 150s numbers were sold out. But then I raised this question of, like, well, I'm a subscriber. Shouldn't I get priority? Um, you know, shouldn't I get them sent out as soon as they, you know, my the order goes in, basically? Um, he said, well, you should, but there's been a problem somewhere and nobody seems to know what's going on. I said, well, look, I'm not paying any more money for... Lack of ships. Anyway, the, the guy over the phone went, well, you can have a couple of ships for free. And I went, well, I want a bit more than that because I'm getting really annoyed that you're just taking my money and not giving me what I'm paying for. Um, because I never used to have this problem. It's only, um, it's only in the last sort of... Um, since August, basically, last year. In fact, it was a week before TF Nation. I got two, uh, two ships, and that was it. And then I didn't get anything until, I think, September. I got two ships... Um, and then, sorry, no, I've got three ships, yes, one missing one, and then I didn't get anything until November, which I got one through the post, um, but that's it, I'm still missing like 14 issues, and it's just not fair, so, yes, anyway, this is the web exclusive one, I am still missing a couple of those, but I will get them, now that I'm not paying for my ships anymore, um, well, for the moment anyway, um, because I just want what I've paid for essentially so anyway we'll get into it so we've got a nice glossy magazine and we shall get in so specification class taf, cl uh, class um class f shuttle concept 1966 designed by matt jeffries um a really beautiful shot of it there it's really cool i like that um this goes into um you sent a press shuttle craft rejected concept 50 years after matt jeffries designed his original concept for the enterprise's shuttle uh, has been brought to life. And then um, the shuttle that never was. In 1966, Matt Jeffries designed a very different version of the Enterprise shuttles that he felt um, was compromised when it came to building them. Yeah, so you would never have never been able to build this back in the 60s. But I think it's a really cool design. And you know what the best part is? I think this could be a um, runabout, a TOS runabout. I'll get into that when I go into the model, but um, this is it's called the Albertani, which is quite interesting. Um, um, yeah. Some really nice um, concept designs there. And we've got some more, like, um, you know, artwork concept design. Um, and then you've got some interior designs going on there, which is really cool. I love all this stuff. Um, and then we've sort of got it landed on a planet. In, and a guy stepping out, sort of like the idea of what it might look like on set. Um, and then we've got some more designs of it there, and then you've got a really nice CG render of it there. If you didn't see that properly, you've got some more drawings there, some CG renders there. Um, and then we've got the more sort of familiar Class F shuttle. Um, I love the Matt Jeffrey's Jeffrey design work, there. it's pretty cool. Uh, and then we've got the, the normal sort of shuttlecraft layout going on. You know, we've seen all before, but it's always cool. Interestingly, interesting interesting uh, thing about the shuttlecraft on Star Trek is that this the interior set was actually bigger than the exterior set. Because if you see, um, oh, what episode is it? You see it real clear, actually. Um, it's 
the one with the giant amoeba, what is it called, immunity syndrome. Spock joins, goes in a shuttlecraft to help, you know, destroy the thing, uh, the giant amoeba, and you see him get in the shuttle, and then you see, you see him duck his head as he sort of goes left in the shuttle. Whereas the actual set, you see them stepping out properly. So it's a little bit of a cheat there going on, but that's common for those types of sets. Then you got the shuttle base set going on there, and then you got sort of the um, as you're looking at the doors, really good. And you got a really weird shuttle there. I'm glad they didn't choose that one because that looks really 1950s. And that one as well, look at that. No thanks. Looks like some out of Thunderbirds. You know? Weird. Uh, yeah, so you've got some more designs of that, you know, like the little pod, you know, which is, no. <laughs> and then we've got more sort of what would become the shuttle, shuttlecraft and more sort of flying sorcery type ones, you know. Um, yeah, I'm glad they didn't go with those designs. Um, yeah, so, and there we are. That's the magazine. So, we will... Flip the camera around. Ah, fuck, I've dropped on the floor. Never mind. We'll flip the camera around and we'll take a closer look, so. And there we have the ship itself. And as you can see, very, very cool. Um, you got some really nice. Um, you know, you got some really nice um, detail going on there. When it's fucking zoom, when it'll fucking zoom in. Are we going to focus on it for me? There we are, NCC-1701-5, USS Enterprise, Albertani, and then you've got 1701-5 there, um, it'd be nice if they put, like, maybe Enterprise across there, maybe, and you've got some um, um, hatches there, door hatches, then you've got some really nice pinstriping on the uh, warp nacelles the there as well, 1701-5, got some nice detail at the back, um, some more fins. This, according to the uh, magazine, there is the, the third landing leg, and you can see the landing legs sort of extend out from the nacelles there. I'm not sure I like this nacelle um, pile on there. Um, it's a bit odd. Um, I'd have it more because um, it comes down than up, uh, a bit more flush if that makes sense. But I do quite like it though. Um, yeah, it's a really cool, cool ship. Um, you've got some nice detailing on the top there. You can see that's obviously a uh, warp core hatch there. And then you've got some like more maintenance bays and things of that ilk. You've got some nice big um, windows at the front. Um, and as I was saying in the other part of the review, I think that this could easily be a TOS style runabout. Because, you know, it's sort of head cannon. Um, it's bigger than, because this model is actually bigger than the shuttlecraft model, which unfortunately mine's put away at the moment, um, so I can't do a size comparison. Um, but yeah, this would be a really cool idea to, to be a runabout size ship. Because if you look at the size of the door there, um, you know, say, say for example, um, a humanoid is about, just about as big as that door there, you could happily sit, you know, a fair few crew members around that door. Um, thingy there the, the cockpit there so yeah runabout a tos style runabout works for me um so yeah it's very nice indeed very 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 nice i love these concept ships so fucking much um i just wish that the excelsior ones were part of the bonus ones um but there you go so and we get a stand usual stand it doesn't quite sit in there i'm gonna have to get some clear nail varnish to sort that out but on the bottom there, it says, Matt Jeffers, original series, shuttle concept. And then we've got a 3130 here, so it's the first patch. So it fits on the stand. Um, reasonably secure. It's actually quite loose in there, so I'm going to have to get some clear nail varnish on that. And there we are. And there's the shuttlecraft. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining joining me talking about a shuttlecraft from um, the original series, or rather a concept of the original series. Um, just anything, any, ah, sorry, anything um, t um, TOS is always good. Um, so yeah, so yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, so why not please like, share, and subscribe this video. Um, hit that notification bell to have new videos out, and why not? Do me solid. Why not consider um, subscribe? Uh, donate into my Patreon just at the top here. Um, you never know. I might, I've got some cool rewards over there. 
and um, be sure to check out my playlist of other tra um, Star Trek reviews as well as my Transformers reviews I will be branching out into other things eventually and then just like share and subscribe that would be fantastic so thanks for watching I will keep you posted on any other um, Star Trek ship that actually turns up and I will catch you all very soon thank you for watching bye for now